Sun's definitely flying, man. So, the next game that I want to talk about is a match between Manchester City and Wolverhampton Wanderers. Oh! It's going to be a tricky one. For sure, for sure, for sure. And you guys know exactly why. You know why. Wolves did the double over City a few seasons ago. So, look. Watford won City 3 in their last game. Leipzig did defeat Man City 2-1 in the Champions League match. Well, for Wolves, they lost narrowly to Liverpool a goal to nil. What happened the last time City and Wolves met each other? Well, Man City did the double over Wolves last season. But the previous season, Wolves did the double over City. Which was a freaking terrible thing right that was a season liverpool ran away with the title you know what i mean uh but previously to that city had really dominated the games against wolves apart from a 1-1 draw back in 2018 14 all-time premier league games eight wins for city four for wolves two games have ended in a draw this will be the first time that spaniard pep guardiola is meeting the portuguese bruno large and in charge and in seven games against Watford, um, Wolves, pardon me, Pep has, I wish it was Watford. <laughs> Pep has four wins, two losses, and a draw. So not a very good record against Wolves. All right? The Port Portuguese, Portugal, Portugal FC. Not a very good record at all. Home record, five wins, one draw, and... A loss, so look, Wolves haven't done too badly against City at all. So look, players to watch, Manchester City right now. I'm going to have to go with the boy Bernardo Silva. I'm going to have to double it up. Bernardo Silva and Joao Cancelo here are indeed the players to watch. And for Wolverhampton Wanderers, uh, Huang Hee Chan could be very dangerous here. If he could get the service, but Huang running in behind on a counter. Adama Traore as well. Ah, this will be the perfect game to play Adama. Perfect, perfect game. So look, Phil Foden and Nathan Ake picked up injuries in the Champions League game. What's taking off um, Foden as a, a precaution. Nathan Ake had a, a back injury. But Ake, don't think he would have featured in this game anyways. But Phil Foden, I think he should be fine. Most likely, if he don't play, he'll be on a bench. Ferran Torres, still out injured, but was pictured on Instagram back in training. And he will be back soon. But he's been in the rumors that he could be moving to Barcelona. Look, Ferran, bro, if that's what you want, go for it. You see what I mean? We be okay. You know what I mean? What's exciting about that is who are we getting? <laughs> you got to look on the brighter side of things. I know Ferran Torres is a good prospect, but still, yeah, it's whatever. Look, for Wolves, Daniel Podens is back after coronavirus layoff. Ryan Ayat Nori, the left back who really bothered Mo Salah in that game against Liverpool, he picked up an injury and could miss the game. Connor Cody is also a doubt who was injured in the Liverpool match. But Johnny Otto, Oscar Burry, Bruno Jadao, Pedro Neto, and Yersin. Muscara has all been out for some time with long-term injury. And as I always like to say, players could pop up and make the bench. And we're like, whoa, I didn't expect that. Or they could just continue to be out injured. So, did you know? Did you know? Raheem Sterling has scored 99 Premier League goals, 18 for Liverpool, and 81 for Manchester City. He would be the 32nd player to reach triple figures in the competition and the 8th youngest to do so at 27 years and 3 days on the day of the match. Happy belated birthday to Raheem Sterling as well. He just turned 27. Baby. <laughs> 
Among all fixtures to have been played at least 60 times in the history of English football since it was formed in 1888, Man City versus Wolverhampton Wanderers has the highest goal per match ratio with 3.83, 437 goals in 114 meetings. Ooh. Excluding penalties, Wolves are the only side yet to concede a set-piece goal in the Premier League this season, despite facing 37, 39 shots from such situations. By contrast, last season only Leeds with 15 conceded more set-piece goals, excluded penalties than Wolves 14. So that's an area they have definitely improved in. Bernardo Silva has scored six goals in his last eight Premier League appearances for Manchester City, one more than his previous 61 matches in all competition. So in the competition pardon me so bernardo has been on fire where i see various city fans coming out saying bernardo is the best in the world right now let's not blight the man okay let's not do that let him just play let him do his thing and operate smoothly smooth operator sade in the house john moss would be in charge of this game so yeah what's my prediction for this one however look we know what Wolves have been doing this season. They have been a very tricky team to play. All season, they have been good. Despite six L's, they have been good. They have been good. That's one thing I could say about Wolves. They have been one of the most consistent teams this season. They do not score a lot of goals, right? They don't score a lot. 12 goals. That's the problem with Wolves. They don't score enough goals. But... They don't concede a lot either. They've had 13 goals conceded, which makes them one of the best defenses in the league. Okay? In terms of the defenses, Wolves are fourth in terms of defenses. Fourth. Better than United, Arsenal, West Ham, Tottenham. And only behind the top three teams in the league. All right? So, they're not going to be a team that you could just go and just smash. Roman Saiz, Connor Cody, Max Kilman have all been solid. And uh, as I mentioned previously, Ryan I. Nori could be missing this game. He won't be 100% fit. And even if he does feature, I think he'll struggle, right? Nelson Semedo has been decent as well. Moutinho, Nevsh in the middle. Sometimes then Donka. Look, the problem for them, I think they lack that creative player that could unlock defenses. But when you're playing a team like Man City, who does play with a very high line, does play with most of the ball, plays very expansive football, you lose the ball, a team like Wolves countering with a Jimenez, Huang, or Adama. This is the perfect game for Adama Traore. Chinkau isn't that quick. But you could unleash a player like Adama against City. It could be dangerous. If he makes the right decision to pass the ball when he has to pass the ball. Because you know he can't shoot. You know what I'm saying? And we know he makes terrible decisions. This could be a very tricky game. But for City, top of the table, five wins in their last five. And ever since the Crystal Palace loss, they've only lost once. They've only dropped points in one game against Leipzig. That was in a week. And I want to take a positive outlook on that loss and say it was a sacrificial lamb, you know, to appease the football gods. Yeah, here, here's a loss. You see what I'm saying? Take one. And City could get back to winning ways in this game because with De Bruyne getting back to full fitness, Gundogan has been steady. Rodri has been steady. Cancelo and Bernardo has been playing some exquisite football, the best best of their careers. 
My only concern is who Pep plays at the top. Sterling has been in good form, has been making better decisions. But my concern is, is Jack Grealish, though. To be honest, came in for big money, but hasn't really been overly impressive, in my opinion. And, and I don't want to be too harsh. I want to say, let's give him a season to settle in. You feel me? It's a big leap. Big leap. Different style of football than why he played at Villa. That's my only concern. I think Jack Grealish hasn't been very good in front of goal. So if we have a Sterling, Grealish, and maybe another player, Pep, Pep likes to mess around, it could be a problem in this game. Who would I go with? My 11 for this game would be Edison, Diaz. You're going to play Laporte. I don't like what I saw from Stones in the last game. So, I'm going to say Diaz Laporte. Walker Cancelo at left back. Rodri. Kevin De Bruyne. Ilkay Gundogan. I will have Bernardo Silva as my false nine here. Gabriel Jesus over on the right. Sterling on the left. You could bring Grealish. Off the bench. Mara's off the bench if you need him. A lot of firepower. Foden might not be 100% fit. If he is, he could start as well. Look, Cole Palmer has been getting a lot of game time lately. I don't see anything but... Uh, look, the way Man City play their football, dominate, they're just so dominant. And the only thing that could undo... City is losing the ball and, and being vulnerable on the corner right now. Wolves were very, very resilient against Liverpool. Took a last minute effort. But Liverpool had many opportunities. And I think City would have many opportunities. And will take the opportunities. 2-0 to City is my prediction here. I don't think we'll lose the game. The most that'll happen is we might draw. Worst case. But I'm going to go for a win. A positive result. And I think. I'm going to say this right now. I think it's going to be a very, very nice December here. I'm going to just put it out there. It's going to be a very nice December. And I'm going to keep saying it. Because the confidence is growing. Not overconfidence, but it's growing. And this is what December looks like for City. Wolves leads Newcastle, Leicester, and Brentford. Trust me when I tell you guys. We could see City winning all five. And if that happens, if that happens, right? Let's say City win five on the bounce in December. That would be one, two, three, four, five. It'll be 10 on the bounce. And like I always say, do not make City win 10 on the bounce, then they make it 14, then they make it 18 on the bounce. And that, that's it. The, the title is won. I know people might be looking at me and say, oh, damn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no. I know exactly what I'm talking about here. I know exactly what I'm talking about here. And you guys know that I know what I'm talking about. You know I know what I'm talking about. It's up to these teams to get results against City. It's my prediction, 2-0. 2-0. For Wolves, the next fixtures... They have Brighton, Chelsea, Watford, Arsenal for the rest of the year. What's your prediction? Let me know in the chat. Do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.